today we'll work with the leftover reports so there are quite few reports that are important in dynamics one is this dimension statement another one is this ledger transaction list third one is this posted transactions by journal so mostly the reports will bring same kind of data but in a different format so you can try all the reports when you have time but we will discuss about those few reports which are really important okay this one dimension statement ledger transactions list and posted transactions by journal we will say i think we have seen this previously and we will see this again and later we will discuss about general ledger parameters today under ledger setup we have general ledger parameters so we'll discuss them so let us start with this dimension statement let's see what we have in this ledger report dimension statements it's here in general ledger enquiries and reports under ledger reports i have dimension statement four step navigation gl inquiries and reports ledger reports dimension statement if i click on dimension statement i can see the criteria which i can select for running a report so i can select the criteria here i can select ledger balances or budget balance we don't have budgets enabled so we will go for ledger balances only so this dimension statement by name itself says that we can track balances for dimension values just like we have done by using the financial dimension set we have created we have tracked our balance and trial balance right in the same way this report can also be generated for the same way here you can see primary financial dimension set where you can select one of the dimension set we have created so for this legal entity we have created few dimension sets right mrf main account plus cost center main account plus location plus department here like this so i'll select that dimension set i told you previously the dimension sets are used in two places one one in trial balance other one is here in this report okay so here i can select my dimension set i can also select a secondary financial dimension set another dimension set which i am not selecting now we'll do it later then i can select the criteria for the report starting from date 1 to the end date or i can select any month or any quarter or any dates from for for, for a week i can select suppose two from date and two date just we can be defined here then specification we can say posting type or by day by week be total the dimension statement report i have selected transactions as ledger and i have selected a dimension segmentation plus department of the mrf legal entity okay then i have selected a date criteria from date to to date from how whatever the amount of transactions and balances you want you can select that from date to to date okay then you can select all these details posting layer is current only by default you can change other layer if you feel like if you have any transactions in the other layer okay so you can select all these things offset account is needed currency total is needed so without transactions is needed or not needed i don't need uh, accounts without transactions okay include opening transaction amounts so i want opening balances as well as include closing transactions as well yeah okay include reverse transactions as well okay so i can select all this and then i can also include criteria so here i can include a journal batch numbers or main account for which main account we have to run if i don't select anything i it will run for all the accounts whatever we have Okay, I'll just click on OK and we'll see how the report will be generated. Takes a while. Oh, there is a message. I don't know what is it. We'll see. Okay, operation completed is what it is saying, right? So here I can see transactions by main account. See, 
here you can see the transactions by using cash account first account is cash account right so i can see cash account and all the transactions are the journals that are posted using cash account only cash account okay later if i drop down i can see cash account plus hyderabad location here cash hyderabad so here i can see all the transaction that are posted using cash plus hyderabad combination so these are the transaction that i have posted using cash and hyderabad combination coming down cash plus hyderabad plus finance department combination so this is a one journal or one one journal one voucher i have posted using hyderabad plus sorry cash account plus hyderabad plus finance in the same manner for each and every account according to the combinations in the trial balance previously we have seen balances right here i can see the transactions okay the same journal as well as the transactions related to them i mean i mean same account combination account and dimension value combination and the transactions related to them previously when we used the same dimension set in the trial balance we used to see the balances for each account here we can see balances as well you can see balance in the bottom as well as the transactions related to that balances we can see everything in this report in the same way for every account this report would have been generated here i can click on next page this will take me to the last page this will take me to the first place this will take me to the previous page so if i click on next page it will automatically take me to the next page so here in the next page my cash account plus bangalore plus finance department cash account plus another dimension cash account plus chennai next petty cash account and the same way i can find lot of pages i can find page numbers also here if you give page number 4 it will take me to page number 4 sorry it's not page number 4 actually it's uh, it searches for a unique uh, what i would say it the unique data whatever data you want you can give it here actually go to is for page not find so this go to option we can select for page number go to page number 2 i can say in this report it will directly take me to page number 2 here i am again in the page number 2 i can zoom in zoom out this report by this option zoom in zoom out zoom out then i can export this report in whatever format i want pdf or word or excel or xml any format is you wish clear so it automatically prepares a report of each transaction and which account is being created or debited so you can see the account that is being created and debited and what is the offset account used we have selected the criteria while we are running the report offset for offset we have enabled it so we can also see the offset account used in that particular transaction here we have offset accounts here we have three offset accounts actually for this petty cash account so in the same manner we can see all the transactions reversals as if at all they are reversed we can also see the reverse trace number for the transaction in this report so it entirely prepare a report in within seconds and give it to you whatever you want so that's how you can use the dimension sets in the i mean in this report dimension statement so i'm com coming out of it actually i have to close all the pages so there you are so clear guys so it is in inquiries and reports ledger reports and dimension statement here okay then i have this one ledger transaction list report if i click on this report i can see i can also see the ledger transactions only from date you can give date to date then you can select yes include reverse transactions also then you can select particular journal batch number or journal number or main account whatever journal batch number is not selected journal number or main account or voucher number you can select anything in the filter here if at all i don't select anything and if i run it it will run for all the main accounts and all the transactions will be printed in the report suppose if i click as yes. from date 1 to december 31st i want all transactions that's what i told it
since it will be a very big report it takes a little time so it generated quickly this time so here i can see for each day starting from 1st of january to every day you can see transactions here 1st january 6th january 6th january 3rd i'm sorry not 1st january 1st june 1st june in the same way for a day by day you can see transactions here not all the transactions that are posted for each account i'm sorry again so this is for main account cash account here you don't have any dimension differences you can see dimensions used here in this ledger account page here so here for other account you can see here what are the journals we have posted for petty cash account for other account intercompany receivable account payables account receivables account you can see everything then you can also go to a particular voucher by clicking on this journal number or I mean to this on this voucher number suppose if you click on this voucher number system will automatically take you to that voucher so i clicked on it actually it's loading oh, yeah we can see here voucher number 24 cash account is created advertisement expense account is debited 1st of january i can go back to the report so the same here it is showing cash account is credited with 1000 that's what in the amount in reporting currency also it is showing but here the disadvantage is that it's not showing the offset account in the report it is only showing one account if that or the cash account if it and the journals posted for cash account in that journals it is debited or credited whatever it is showing just like that transaction currency accounting currency and reporting currency three currencies just like in the voucher we will see right the same way it is showing but only one account again this voucher number only will be there for another account the advertisement expense account we have used there it will show the advertisement expense is debited the same voucher number will show up but for different account the opposite account we used in this journal this is how we can select the or prepare a report so we can also export this in pdf format if you wish to report it takes a while to load since we have multiple pages in that so you can see pdf is downloaded in the system all the transactions generated here according to the main account so that's with ledger transactions list this report then i told you right this this report is important posted transactions by journal here this report gives you the criteria to select a journal batch number and see the what all transactions posted in that journal batch number so in voucher transactions inquiry we never have this option of journal journal batch number for inquiry but here we have that option called journal batch number in the posted transactions by journal previously we have run this report with this journal batch number we can again run it no problem here i want ledger account plus financial dimensions used and all the vouchers that are posted in this journal batch number okay i'll just click on okay and i can see the report in a while here i can see the report journal batch number and the vouchers posted i only have one voucher posted in this journal batch and in that voucher i can see two accounts which is debited and credited cash account debited revenue account is credited so it's a simple report and i can click on this voucher it will directly take me to that voucher here cash account debited business revenue is credited i can directly go to original document and find it simple close it so that's one report the other one we have we here we can see this one Tran transaction list by date this also gives the same kind of thing we can list out the transactions by date from date to to date also include reverse transactions i think in this report it don't show according to the main account 
it will show according to the date i think so previous report we have seen the report is according to the main account so here you can see this report is according to the date so on 1st of january these many transactions are posted you can see voucher numbers on 31st of january this february again date date by date it's in ascending order dates uh, according to the date which transactions are posted you can see in this report in the previous report which we have seen there that report was by account so for each account on particular dates date wise how many transactions are posted here date wise transactions with no criteria of account here again so the account is given but transactions are not listed by account they are listed by date here in this report so that's why we have transaction list by date report name okay anytime if anybody asks any report from system or if you client ask a specific report that while during implementation if client says it does dynamic supports or gives us this kind of reports you can say that yes it gives we have transaction by list transaction list by date report you can extract that report and use it or inquire the transactions by that report you can say like that okay they can always select any date criteria if they want so here you have right from date to two date you can select any date and for that particular dates what are the transactions posted that can be exported into pdf or excel format or anything if you, as you wish it's pretty much easy to extract the data that is posted already in this format that we want so dynamic supports few good reports or inbuilt reports we have so this is about few important reports and inquiries in the general ledger module for every module we have them we'll see them separately in those modules as well okay so clear guys any confusion in this inquiries and reports so in uh, interviews they might not ask about inquiries and reports mostly they might not ask but it's as a consultant it's important for you to understand how each inquiry and report works and how we can track transactions and balances for each account by date or by voucher number by account or by any other uh, criteria how we can track transactions and different reports available so if you have knowledge on this this would be benefit for you only okay so that's why i have taken efforts to explain you this inquiries and reports